Hi, Vadim here. In this quick tutorial, I'll guide you through everything you need to know from start to finish. Windows File Explorer is your main tool for organizing your folders, saving documents, or managing downloads. In fact, it's your go-to place to see, move, and manage everything stored on your PC. Let's walk through essentials, plus a few powerful tips to help you feel right at home with File Explorer. You can open File Explorer in a few different ways. Click the folder icon on your taskbar, or open a Start menu and search for File Explorer. You can right-click on the icon and choose Pin to Taskbar to keep it always visible. Right now it's pinned, so you can only choose Unpin from Taskbar. Or you can pin to Start. Let's explore the information you can see in File Explorer. You can see navigation structure on the left, and as you click on every item, you see different view and different items located in the folders. By default, File Explorer opens in Home View. Here you see quick access, as well as you can navigate between recent, favorites, and shared files. If you want File Explorer to always open to a specific folder, for example this PC, Downloads, or Documents, you can click three dots in the toolbar, navigate to Options, and under Open File Explorer 2, change it to this PC or another location. If I close File Explorer and click it Open again, you see that it opened it to this PC. Let's take a close look at default file locations. On the left-hand side taskbar, you see Desktop, Downloads, Documents, Pictures, Music, and Videos. These are called default user folders, and Windows automatically uses them to store your files unless you change it. Here's the best practice. Try to save personal files into documents or pictures and keep downloads clear so it doesn't get cluttered. Let's look at the very important questions. Where do downloads go? When you download something from your browser, whether it's Chrome, Edge or Firefox, it usually lands in Downloads folder. For example, I have a file in Chrome. This is a PDF file. When I download it, by clicking the Download button, it offers to select the location where to download it to. And by default, this location is Downloads folder. When I click Save, the file goes right there. And now if I go to Downloads folder here in File Explorer, you can see the downloaded file. And here's the pro tip for you to take ownership of your device. You can change this in your browser settings if you prefer files to be saved elsewhere. Let's go to Documents folder where I have four files currently present, and take a look at the concept called file extensions. Every file has a different file type. You see that in this folder I have Microsoft Excel Worksheet, Microsoft Edge PDF document, Microsoft Word document, or another PDF file. For example, if I click on the best-selling products, it will open this file in Microsoft Excel. This relationship is driven by the concept called file extensions. By default, file extensions are not enabled, but you can quickly enable them. Just click on the View, Show, and click File Name Extensions. Now you see that every file has a dot and an extension. For example, Excel file has an extension XLSX, PDF file has an extension PDF, and Microsoft Word file has an extension DOCX. This is especially helpful when managing multiple versions or formats of the file. Let's look at the toolbar first. Here you can create new items, folder, shortcut, or any particular document based on what's installed on your machine. You can also sort items by name, date, type, and more, or you can decide how files in File Explorer are presented. Right now I have Details view, but you can switch to large icons, small icons, or any other type of view that you prefer. In the Details view, you can decide how items are presented. Right now we have Name, Date Modify, Type and Size as a columns. If you right-click on the column headers, you can add more items. For example, let's add Date Created and Author. You can also resize those headers to better fit your layout. Just double-click on the separator between those column headers.
This is super useful, especially if you're working with the large folders or need to sort things quickly. Let's create a few new folders so I can show you how to move, copy and organize the files. To create a new folder, you click the New button and click Folder. I'll name my folder Products. And then I'll create another folder and name it Resumes. Let's say that my intent is to move two files related to products into the folder Products. I'll show you two different ways to do it. In the first way, I'm going to just drag the file into the Products folder. And in the second way, I'm going to cut the file by doing the right mouse click and selecting Cut, navigating to Products folder, and pasting it here. There are two important buttons to help you navigate between folders. You can move up and get to the documents, or you can just use the back button, which takes you to the previous folder you were back in. And obviously, instead of moving files, you can copy them. Let's navigate in the folder structure another way. I'm just going to click to the documents and show you that you can copy the file and paste it into the resumes folder. Let me share with you a little trick. You can have two file explorer windows side by side and you can drag and drop files between them. To do this, right click on the file explorer icon, click another file explorer, and then you can use the snap window to have them side by side, navigate to the Documents folder, and organize by moving these files using drag and drop. This will replace the file already in the destination, so I'm going to click OK here, and I'm going to move the second file into the Resumes folder as well. Let me maximize the window by clicking the Maximize button, and I'll show you another trick. If you want to move, copy, or delete several files, you can select multiple files at a time. To select files individually, you can hold the control button. Or if you hold the shift button, you can select the range of files. This is super handy when organizing folders or clearing out old files. Here's the hidden gem for you. If you need the exact file path to share with someone or paste into the apps, you can click on the address bar at the top of the file explorer and it turns into the full path. You see that the path to my files is C, Users, Demo Account, Documents and then Resumes. You can select this info, right-click and copy it, and then I'm going to paste it into the notepad. I can open notepad and paste this information into the application. This is useful for developers, file sharing or software setups. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Online Training for Everyone. Have a great day.